If you have more than one electric car at home, then do you need two home charge points or is one enough? Most people will actually get on fine with just the one, and that's the short answer. But don't leave just yet. We have much more to say on this, and if we didn't, this would be a pretty pointless video. Before we move on though, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We are making lots more useful guides, tips, and tutorials. If you don't want to miss them, then hit the subscribe button down below. You may just be starting your electric car journey, but believe it or not, some people are already part of a multi EV household. In other words, they own more than one electric vehicle. A common question we are asked is, do you need two chargers if you have two or more electric cars? Or we often get customers who already have more than one EV, assuming they need more than one home charger. In actual fact, we've convinced many of these customers that one charge point will be more than enough saving them money on a charger they don't need. So why is this the case? Let's take a look. A common misconception about electric cars is that they need constant charging because the range is low. Clearly this depends on the range of your vehicle, but as a general rule, it's unlikely you would need to charge your EV every single night. This opens the possibility of sharing a single home charger between more than one vehicle. For example, you could charge one EV one night and the other vehicle the next night. Despite the fact there are millions of cars on UK roads, we actually don't drive very far. In fact, according to the RAC, the average daily mileage is about 28 miles. That's well within the range of electric vehicles and will be gobbled up by a dedicated seven kilowatt home charge point, meaning you'll get those 28 miles back in around an hour for most EVs when charging at home. You can find the best seven kilowatt home charge point for you by visiting smarthomecharge.co.uk. We have a range of products from different manufacturers to suit different needs and budgets. Plus, our online site survey process means getting an installation quote is quick and easy. If you need more help choosing a charger, then we have a detailed series of videos on how to choose one. You can watch those by clicking on the banner in the top corner right now, or use the link in the description down below. Now, assuming both vehicles in your home do the same sort of daily mileage, a home charge point makes it pretty easy to share between more than one EV. Most multi-car households would be able to top up a vehicle one night and top up the other the next night. For example, if both vehicles cover around 30 miles a day, then you should only need to add 60 miles back into the vehicle each time you charge, if you're charging one vehicle at a time. On average, this would take around two hours on a seven kilowatt home charge point. So you can see how it's quite easy to charge each vehicle every other night. Clearly, there are some benefits to having two charge points installed. Primarily, it means you can physically charge two vehicles at the same time, but this can mean the vehicles are charged at different rates and it's possible one charge point or vehicle will take precedent over the other. There are some charge point products that have the ability to load share, which means they will communicate with each other if two vehicles are plugged in. In this scenario, they will split the power available, so both cars charge at a similar rate, but this will be at around three to 3.6 kilowatts. In other words, half of the available 7.4 kilowatts from the supply. Again, this could still be really useful if more than one vehicle requires charging overnight at the same time, for example, and you're happy for them to charge a little slower. 
even at around three kilowatts, this will still add about 10 miles of range per hour typically, which is more than enough to add a good chunk of range overnight. The obvious spanner in the works here is the dreaded long journey. Much too much is made of the problems encountered by electric cars on long journeys. The public infrastructure is improving all the time after all. However, if more than one person in your home needs to complete a long journey the next day, then you might be fighting over who gets the charger. So here are some things you might want to consider. Firstly, what do you need most of the time? If both vehicles are rarely needed for long drives at the same time, then you're probably best saving the money and opting for one charge point still. Think about it. You wouldn't buy a people carrier for that one time you need to transport seven people. So apply the same principle to car charging. In other words, think about what you need 80 to 90% of the year. Secondly, start charging earlier and then swap. If you need both vehicles for a longer trip the next day, simply plug one in when you get home and then swap before you go to bed. That way, both cars have had a few hours charge. Thirdly, use the three pin plug. Now, most EVs come with a three pin plug adapter for a domestic socket. It is slow and it's best to avoid using it too regularly, but for occasional use, it is a great option. Plug one vehicle into your seven kilowatt home charger and the other into a domestic socket. Fourthly, use a public charger. Did you know there are more than 35,000 public charge points across nearly 13,000 locations? Nearly 8,000 of these are the super fast rapid chargers, which typically recharge a car from 10 to 80% in around 30 to 45 minutes. Assuming your car isn't empty when you set off, just plan a stop at a rapid charger on the way to your destination. But what if you really want to charge two EVs at the same time? Okay, it seems you really are determined to do this. So here are some options for you. Number one, get two chargers installed. You can still get more than one charge point installed, of course. Request a quote through our website and complete an online site survey so one of our in-house technicians can assist you with this. Number two, get a dual socket charge point. There are some home charging products that offer a dual socket setup, which means you can plug two vehicles in. Smart Home Charge does not currently sell or install a product like this, but a quick search online should point you in the right direction. Your third option, use a three pin plug. As mentioned earlier, save yourself some money and use both your seven kilowatt home charge point and a domestic socket if you must charge two cars simultaneously. Your fourth option is see if you can have a 22 kilowatt charger installed. Although it would still mean charging one vehicle at a time, the extra power and charging speed provided by a 22 kilowatt charger could make it much easier to share one charge point between multiple EVs. There is a big caveat though. Unfortunately, not every home can have a 22 kilowatt three-phase charger and it can be quite expensive to get the infrastructure in place. We go into this in more detail in another video. Find out whether you can have a 22 kilowatt charger at home by clicking the banner in the corner or clicking on the link in the description down below. I hope this video has been useful. If it was, please consider leaving us a like and subscribing. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to reply or get in touch with the Smart Home Charge customer service team who will be happy to help. Also, if you have more than one electric car at home already, then we'd love to hear from you. So, 
please share your experience in the comments section below and let us know how you manage charging more than one EV at home. Otherwise, see you next time.